What's good, YouTube? Phoenix ED back again with yet another Black Clover Phantom Knight YouTube video. So, we are going to talk about the update, then we're going to move straight into our showcase. So, for for global, you guys got a uh, Rose Defense Quest along with Awakened Lick. So, sorry about that. So, when it comes to Lick, uh, well, Awakened Lick, uh, he's good. You can skip him if you want. He's not a must-have. I don't think there's any must-haves right now until we get, well, until you guys get seven stars, which Black Divider will be a huge must-have because he is just a monster. Uh, you can, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I wanted to add more, and then I realized I shouldn't add more. <laughs> but yeah, Black Divider is probably the only character I'd say you guys would want right now outside of White Day Fineral. So yeah, uh, for global, for global, okay. <laughs> for JP, we got another two week raid. Well, two week raid, but we got another raid. Uh, we're slowly moving along. Uh, this is just a repeat event, so we have nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure the creators know, slash band I know that uh, 1.5 slash golden week, whatever you want to call it, since they're essentially, well, golden week is before. A week before anniversary so uh they probably won't do golden week again so we'll just get anniversary like i said before several times but i think they know so they won't drop any hype banners on us so you know we have logins as you can see right here i have a pretty good stone count well gem count and the day of 1.5 they should give 3600 so one full step well just one full step one step so Hopefully I'll be able to do a full rotation on both banners. All this saving has been paying off, even though uh, I essentially started with zero gems ever since uh, Tag Charlotte and Yami. But yeah, so as we can see, uh, William got his 7th star. Sadly, he wasn't good to begin with, so his 7th star is lackluster. If anything, if you are looking at the tier list, which you know, it's always in the description, uh, at most, he'd probably be tier 2 to 3. Mainly because the only thing he really does is increase attack and lower enemies' arcane art gauge. And add that to his own. But the thing is, if they don't have one, then it's kind of useless. So. Isn't there an option to go back? Oh, okay, that's the option. But yeah, so. Um, tier 2 at best, in all honesty. Then we have the reprint event, and all honesty, you could just skip this banner. Just don't, don't summon, it's not worth anyone's time. Charlotte did not get a buff. Just in case people are wondering, she did not get buff. Uh, Yami is still the same Yami. These are just his 7 star stats, so he didn't get a buff. This is just what he looks like at 7 star. That's what this says right here, 7 star stats. So, yeah, this is an event we got before. Here are the boosted characters, as before. Um, I have all of them, so grinding for me will be easy. But yeah, we also got uh, Reincarnation Dorothy's Defense Quest, so... Uh, I most likely won't do any, um... Not showcase, I will do a showcase if I get her to a 6 star, but... I probably won't do a guide. <laughs> and that's not me being selfish, it's just me... Let me mark it throughout all is red. It's just me basically saying... How I play defense quests is just... Okay. I wait till the last minute to do all my defense quest runs. So, I like to steal places from other people. Yes, I know it sounds scummy, but I genuinely enjoy doing that. The only stage I did was the first stage in which you could see I used my Black Divider Asta and got 6,000. I'm stupid. Okay, I got 2,600. Um, I didn't do the other stages because, you know, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the last day to roll around and then do the rest of them. And I'm really not worried because you essentially have to get top... Top what? Top... Uh, including here, so getting first place in all of these and top 500 gets you the character at 7 star. 6 star, sorry. So I just need 6,000 points. And I already have 2,000 from one stage, so I'm really not worried uh, about me making it or anything. I, I don't really care about getting a high score either, I just want to pass five. 
top 500. So that's about it. Uh, if you do want help, then I just recommend that you guys test everything. That's kind of what it's for. Instead of looking at some of the more meta picks for, you know, relics, access, accessory, relics, for, for weapons and accessories and formations, start looking at some of the other ones. That's all I can really give as help. Start looking at other formations, start looking at other relics that you could use alternatively so you can clear out units or, you know, clear out the minions for the characters fast. Yeah. Uh, for global, I know quite a few amount of people or a fair amount of people are using solid. So if you guys do care about using it, that's the wrong one. Yeah, solid. I'm... So if you do care about using him, you guys can. You're all his stats. He's a good unit. Gives the porcupine formation. And a fair amount of people are also using Yuno. So whether it is just regular Yuno, because he does have the two grow attack as his, well, target one and attack everyone behind him, filled with attacks, or you're using spirit dive Yuno. Oh, so, you know, you get the AOE attack, you have range on your skills. So yeah, uh, make sure you consider all options. You can also look. You can also look at, you know, also, like I said before, relics that you normally wouldn't use. That could be helpful. So out of all these, you know, if you have Dorothy, not wow, I'm <laughs> if you have Dwarf Charmy, you can try using her relic. If you have Mary Leona's relics, try using hers. If you have Nebra's, yeah, if you have Nebra's rep weapon, try using that. Uh, that's basically it. Um, this is Valkyrie Dress Noel's weapon. It's pretty solid as well. Uh, Ladros's weapon. Uh, let's see, HP attack, defense, speed, and so yeah, it gives speed. Uh, Save your sword if you have it. Doesn't give any speed, so I probably wouldn't use it. Oh, for those who farm the Devil Sword slash Banishing Blade for Global, guess what? You know, it gives you around 200. Uh, I should still have it in the uh, chat. I might not. Yeah, it gives you 264 speed. So at max level. And I think the previous fastest relic was this one. Yeah, so it gives you 264 speed and 400 attack. So you can consider using that if you don't have solid or you don't feel like far farming solid so you just have to play pvp and in all honesty i'm going to try that after i after i finish recording this but we've been talking about defense quest for eight minutes and this is a showcase video so also relics um this is probably the one time you can find some use in some of these relics hasten attack uh this is a good relic gives you speed so yeah here are really good options you guys can use. If you think you can attack fast enough, then maybe. Oh wait, you guys don't have a rose feather yet. <laughs> Never mind, ignore me. But yeah, there's there's tons of options. Uh, Vanessa's relic even that gives speed. And the flag of victory, victory flag, uh, that gives you a stat rate. That gives you a stat rate in all your stats. So there are some relics and items you can consider. This is. What's her name? Mimosa's Relic, so you can consider using that. Man, I said this was a showcase video, but I might just... Nah, nah, that's fine. But yeah, that, that's just overall, that's, that's about it. So, we are going to do a showcase for my favorite unit in the game. Yes, he's old. Yes, people probably don't use him anymore, but that's fine. Uh, Fuego Leon, as you guys know. You know, it's pretty clear, in case you didn't know. So you guys know, you know, his stats by now, I don't have any, well, I have level one relics. They really don't factor to anything right now. Uh, here are his resistances, as always. Attack from two rows, so Salamander's Breath. Attack to enemies, plus a chance to apply slip. Now, skill one is the give himself armor ability. Oh, did they nerf this? That's okay. Either they nerf this or I'm just blind. But skill two, uh, allies in range get a AOM buff 
or well, they get increased chance to drop red crystals, so helps with AOM. Good support skill, and his last skill is for a short time. Raise a ta attack and crit, I believe. I feel like something's wrong. I'm, I'm gonna check something real quick. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm, I'm on the Discord, so shout out to Slender for uh, being here in my time of need. Shout out to you. But, so, here are the skill 2 and 3 for Fuego Leon. Well, skill 2 mainly for Fuego Leon. Because I, I knew something was wrong, because once again, he's my favorite unit. You can see the range for his skill, right? That, that's a JP. Now, for Global, what's happening here, Bandai? <laughs> Okay, so, um, I think this might be a bug because JP has been kind of wonky lately, uh, mainly in the, yeah, still says it, mainly in the aspect of missions as well. Uh, this was a big, well, not really a big thing, but this is a thing that occurred to a lot of people a week ago that, um, well, not a week ago, but like two to three weeks that their beginner missions would reappear randomly. And you wouldn't be able to claim them because, of course, you already did them. So, uh, this is just another <laughs> bug Bandai needs to fix and, you know, kind of display units correctly. That would definitely add to a part of the game. So, it still shows up as that. Uh, I won't uh, close the game and re-enter. But it should be a cross, as you guys saw before. So, just to, just to see. Yeah, so, uh, it should be a cross. That's a good thing I recorded this video. So, we can discuss any of these bugs. Um, we'll go just straight. <laughs> I knew something was wrong as soon as I saw it. You can call me a fanboy, <laughs> XYZ, but I, I knew something was wrong. I saw the range and it just didn't click for me. Uh, let's do. I don't want to do that either. This is the second to last stage, but it should be across. So when we get to his team showcase, who has the? We'll do this and that and this. Okay, so when we get to the showcase, uh, he should give this Fuego Leon to the right his skill, or well, a the AOM buff, and everyone else as well, so that's about it. Uh, here's the nuke showcase. Now there's so, so, wow, I suck. Solo showcase. But yeah, the consistency is, uh, that's going to annoy me for a while. <laughs> I should take it off auto. Okay, that's the wrong skill. Actually, I'll wait for him to buff his critical. Okay. You can do this, and he should get enough to AOM. Well, Arcane Art. Nope. Now it's enough. Here we go. Seven K, two K, various numbers. Maybe we can just do this again. I will say he's fallen off a bit because uh, people believe armor can be shredded quite easily, but if you don't run him with the invincibility item, uh, he's able to apply armor up quite easily, hastily, quote unquote, in fact. And he is one of the few characters that works with a ring, so you can run him with a buffer ring because all of his skills are buffs. But as you guys can see, like, this this is why I say units, all units can be good in this game. It just depends on, it just matters on how you build them and how well you use them. So for his, for this example, a lot of people say, oh, armor can be shredded quite easily. And I did show some care by putting him lower in the tier list. But now I might raise him back up because you just need to run him with the right stuff. So... If they eventually do make a increase action plus buff skills, well, not increase action, but increase action plus defense, then it would be perfect for Fuego Leon. Then we can just end it here. So 
a lot of the times when it comes that that was 13k okay i'm impressed so a lot of the times using um using the invincibility item that's kind of the payoff that you kind of have to be faced with that yes you do get gain invincibility but you do kind of give up getting the unit skills faster so once again it just depends on all depends on how you use the unit so we're going to do this second to last stage for real we're going to go into with this team what relic was i using okay so again this is going to be more of an offensive build because he is a tank meant to do damage very similar to white day austin uh, we will take it off at times two until I see him give the buff. Just so we get more clarity about if it was really changed or if it's just a bug. So that's his self buff. Okay, so he... Maybe? What? Okay, so... They did change him because this Fuegoleon would have the red crystal increase yeah so they changed him for whatever reason and now he only gives AOM crystals to characters in a straight line uh, that's interesting because they didn't mention it anywhere else so that's uh, that's I I kind of don't know what to say because that's kind of new for them just... Well, I'll be honest. Not every time I do read the news updates for this game. So... that That's kind of something unheard of for me. For them to just randomly change a skill. 7k damage wise. I don't know why I chose her skill. I should have kept her at 100. But that, that's very interesting to me that they did that. Uh, it does make me wonder if they will fix it or if that will be his permanent change now. There his, there's his attack and crit buff. Now we give him crit damage. But that's interesting. Okay, so... They did change... Okay, I... I, I kind of don't know what to say. 48k once again this is the power of a tank that can do damage but i i'm still kind of shocked i really don't didn't expect that i thought his skill would still be the same but okay well now this forces me to always read the news after updates and to regularly check units to make sure they don't end up changing ranges without making kind of an official buff slash debuff um banner slash announcement i that, that's just interest that's just interesting interesting to me wow so that kind of makes him a lot worse so his change on the tier list is fitting now so wow a straight line i can't believe that I really don't know why I didn't. Okay. Um, I'll do another run after this. So, to using a Crimson Lion V2. So he gets formation match. They really changed his skill, but wow. Okay. If you guys would kindly... I keep forgetting I could use Leo because he doesn't affect what happens later on. Okay, that's good. Okay, if you guys want to attack, that'd be great. If you guys want to attack more, that'd be better. Um, that's a dead you know. Um, I will do this. Okay, you guys want to attack more? 
<laughs> and the price of doing showcases. So we won't get Yuno's quote unquote buff, but it's fine. So 20k. We can formation swap. Lower his defense. And Charmy's attack and crit buff will override Fuegoleon's personal attack and crit buff. Since this one is the most recent one used, we can just do this. Let's see how hard he hits now. 47k. Huh. I did expect it to be higher. Let me speed it up. Now I'll replace Formation 1 with Crimson Line V2 just so we do get the Formation match and we can get the Burst so it should do more damage. And this will give us a general range at least to um, how much damage uh, Formation matches add. So, uh, no, you I still can't but... Okay, so... It does make me wonder about other skills. Wow, I, I can't believe that. I, I'm still shocked over that. He got nerfed for no reason. Um, I don't think he'll die because Charmy's Relic does give defense and we also have Noel here to heal. I really hope he targets you now. Alright, well. Okay, well, <laughs> this is going to be a problem. So I will pause the video for you guys, but I'll keep playing to get to a point where I can get these skills off. Well, get the buffs that I want set up. So I will be back. Okay, so we did get to a point. Sadly, you know, Yuno did die again. But we do have formation match this time. So now we get a general number of roughly how much formation match does benefit uh, damage. So last time it was 47k, I believe. Now it should do, I'm guessing 60k potentially. Um, it probably won't be that much, but I, I, I just expect 60k. Fifty-seven. So around ten k added, a bit more. So that's what formation match does, character-wise, and we can just use Leo to finish it off. But yeah, I am glad I decided to do this showcase because I did not realize that they did change it. So man, that's kind of disappointing. But regardless, uh, thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that juicy YouTube stuff. If you hear about notifications, ring the bell and you'll never miss an update. But yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Good luck when it comes to Rill and Dorothy, or well, Elf Dorothy slash Reincarnation Dorothy's defense crest rank ranking. I can't talk. But yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.